Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, it's like what 11 o'clock here. Um, I just wanted to do an official video on uh, wanting to wish everyone and all my friends a uh, happy new year's. Um, I'm hoping that everyone has a prosperous and productive uh, 2015, uh, whether it be in your job, your hobby, whatever it is. <coughs> I want to thank a friend of mine, uh, Darren Bloomfield. Um, he came through for me. Uh, one of my resolutions, and it was actually a resolution a long time ago, was by the age of... I'm just going to say by my age. <laughs> I'm not going to say how old I am. Um, that I wanted to uh, quit smoking. Um, and... He actually turned me on, well, just seeing his videos and stuff, uh, on to uh, vaping. Um, so that is one of my resolutions for uh, 2015. Uh, another one of my resolutions is to win uh, a couple contests and actually get a couple of things of my own done for 2015. Um, and I want to get a couple things off of my chest. One of them being... Um, I am going to try and do more productive uh, videos um, as far as having some tutorials, things like that, um, not only reviews. Uh, I go through moments that I'm kind of burnt and I don't just feel like kicking on the camera, I just feel like being in solitude and, and working on things myself. Um, and. You know, my wife is completely fine with that. I mean, I'm fine with her. It just, you know, other than Facebook, I don't, I don't visit any of the forums. I don't do anything like that. Um, to my friends that have the forums, I apologize for that. Um, I probably should be a little more active. Uh, I just, I don't know. I come home from work, and my job is somewhat stressful. Um, you know, I work in the medical profession, and. Um, I just want to come home and maybe have a drink, um, chill, sit, and uh, you know work on something like uh, the Sazavi or um, you know repainting something or building something or trying to figure out how to modify something or maybe I'm working on someone else's uh, someone else's kit and I need to to work on their stuff um, and sometimes I just don't feel like kicking on the the video. Um, but I'm always on Facebook, uh, maybe mainly because you know I can check it mo with uh, with my phone. I'm usually always on my phone. I usually always have some kind of anime going on, you know, one to two of the screens, um, sometimes both, which is really bad. Um, and um, it just it helps me, you know, to relax. Um, but I've been seeing a lot of posts, and there's been in the closet um, I've been seeing a lot of different th posts that are kind of bugging me um, one of the things I, I do want to say though is uh, on Facebook check out uh, uh, UK Gundam modelers I believe it, it, it's what it is um, Simon's UK Gundam um, Gundam kit uh, he runs that. That's his page on Facebook. Of course, I have my two. I have the Gun, uh, Gundam Corner and then also um, the Gunplot Meister page, which is just for me posting uh, works in progress and things like that. Um, but they have a, a great group over there for the UK modelers, and it's open to anybody. But it's more, you know, more for the UK guys. Um, and then where was I going with that? Yeah, uh, by the way, my wife made uh, my first uh, apple teeny at home. She got me a whole martini set and glasses, which are three times the normal size. And um, kind of strong. About halfway through my first one, um, I had the Uncle Fucker song going through my head. So, yeah. Um, that's another thing that I think I'm going to change for 2015 with my videos is instead of being so well-mannered with my videos... <coughs> Um, I'm going to be more myself. If you've ever been on Skype with me, y you know, uh, you know, I, I can be kind of foul and dirty and so on and so forth, and that's just me. Um, 
if you don't like it, there's the unsubscribe button. Um, I, you know, with my reviews and my things like that, I'm just trying to be honest. What I like, what I don't like, things like that. Uh, you guys know from my Cassatria video, um, you know, things like that. I'm just trying to be me. Um, and it's hard when I'm doing a video and I'm constantly having to think in my back, back of my brain, don't say shit, don't say shit, don't say shit. And, and I don't. Well, 2015, it, it, I may end up losing all my subscribers, but, and channel closed down, but that's, you know, that's just me. That's, you know, a chance and choice that I end up making. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to turn into a complete foul mouth stranger or, you know, sailor. But as you probably saw from my previous two videos, you know, it, it comes out. It, you know, it's just natural that it ends up coming out. Um, you know, uh, I have a bunch of close friends, Chris, Harris, John, um, John, Justin, um, things like that. A bunch of them have either YouTube channels or, you know, they're on Facebook. Funny guys, great guys to be friends with. Um, you know, I want to thank you for you know for a great year um, you know we text each other whether it be through Facebook or through you know just our phones um, you know you guys are all great and I really appreciate um, you sticking through me because I've had some I've had some you know uh, rough mental times I want to say um, that I just end up keeping pretty much to myself and um, you know they're always there for a good laugh and a, a pick me up and things like that but uh, yeah so for 2015 uh, we're gonna kick it up the things I wanted to address real quick um, I've been seeing people talking all kinds of trash on lacquer uh, lacquer paints um, let me straighten this out right now lacquer is going to be the best thing that you can end up using um, if you have an airbrush and you have access to lacquers whether it be uh, Mr. Color whether it be Gaia whether it be um, shit, even Playmo Color, even though I'm not a fan of theirs, you know, um, it's going to be your most durable. Using acrylics or enamels or anything like that, it's especially if you're doing any reposing your stuff with your kits, it's going to flake, it's going to crack. But guys, put down a primer coat first. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people, oh, this lacquer is crap because. Um, you know, it's cracking my kid, or it's causing this, or it's causing that, and you and they're not putting down a primer coat. Um, that primer coat is a buffer uh, in between two. One, it's there to keep the paint from flaking and cracking, and two, you put lacquer on a straight Bandai kit or a plastic uh, styrene kit, and it's going to eat it. Um, you know, you guys all learned the lesson from me um, melting half of a Sananju, me not paying attention and putting the damn thing in a wrong bucket to try and soak off uh, the paint instead of putting it in Purple Power um, or alcohol, and I put it in the bucket that had lacquer thinner, and within three minutes, the damn thing had looked like it was sinking into a swamp and was gone. It was goop, and then the, even the goop was gone um, in the bottom of the bucket. So... Um, yeah, that's why you're going to get the plastic training brittle and stuff. It's going to it's going to ruin it. Um, you know, uh, another thing, uh, people trash talking on people that are doing uh, getting like the Mechancore uh, XI um, kits like that. Even me, I catch crap all the time for like the Neo Grade or the SMS or. The whatever it is um, conversion that I'm doing because it's not an official Bandai you know what as soon as uh, Bandai officially makes those kits I will get those kits um, they're you know they came out with the unicorn I'm on it they come out with the Sinanju I'm on it um, you know yeah their quality is going to be top-notch Koto Bikia quality top freaking notch um, I am not going to go out of my way and go get the TT Hongli freaking Koto Bikia Zoids kit. No way in hell. Um, but, uh, you know, something like uh, the Mechancore kit. Uh, even, you know, someone... Though I hated the kit, if you take the time and everything... I know uh, Matt Morozek's working on one right now, the Alien Cassatra. It, it can look good. You know what? Uh, it just it was poor craftsmanship poor planning on their part 
um, to try and do what they did with it um, and I didn't like the texture of it and I wanted to get I wasn't going to get an XI and then last night I almost purchased one and I'm holding off on it uh, I've had a few requests to review it um, for those reasons there's a guy that I just started following a uh, gun flaw uh, gun hold on I feel like a dumbass because I did not I did not check this gunpla not a reviewer Hold on, I'm gonna check this out so anyway while I'm I am checking this out um, so you know you guys that are the the Bandai fanatics um, and just you know I, I understand your devotion um, to Bandai and everything and I understand your plea as far as the quality um, I will stick to that um, Gunpla Gamer um, he has a cool cha channel and that's it's a G-U-N-P-L-A space G-A-M-E-R and he's doing a build up on the Mech and Core MAS-15 uh, XI um, and you know YouTube is the place that I go when I want a review on something when I need uh, how do I put this? I'm one of those people that growing up into everything between somewhat having ADHD and being dyslexic, reading it, I can read it six or seven times, reading something six or seven times, and I can't, I get the concept, but I can't quite visualize it. Um, YouTube, I go there, if I can find a video on it, I know what I'm looking at, I know what I got, and I know where to go from there instantly. If I see something be done, I can repeat it 8 million times after that once I've seen it done. Same way in the medical field. Once I've seen it done, um, but I can read it 800 times, not quite get it down, see it once, I'm done, I've got it. Um, so he's doing a build up on the XI. Um, and just from him doing that, I, and I know it's by Alien, um, I kind of backed away from it going, you know what, I'll, I'll hold off on it. Um, it's something that I would just build and give away anyway. Uh, I would just be getting it to do a review for you guys. The, literally, that's the only reason to, to get it. So I decided not to. Um, but you guys need to have a little more leniency. Um, with the people doing the resin kits and, and doing the, the kits that Bandai is not producing. Um, if you want to go after the people, and this is going to ca catch backlash on, the, on my other side too, so if you want to go after the people doing the TT Hongli, you know, kits, uh, the Red Frame Ashtray that is already out in two or three different forms, in Master Green form, um, and the people are, you know, they're wanting to save $10 by getting the knockoff compared to the Bandai. Um, fine, I, I have Adam because I'm like, spend the extra, save two lattes at Starbucks and get the original because the fit and the details and everything are not going to be the same. I don't care what they say unless they have the same um, 3D program and they're cutting into steel molds and casting, casting them and stuff, which I know that they're not, um, you know, fine. Um, but there needs to be some leniency on both sides, uh, on both sides of that fence. Um, but I just wanted to get that off my chest because I saw like 10 posts tonight alone um, on that, uh, both people defending and, um, you know, getting upset about it and, or, you know, ranting up a, a storm on it. Um, so hopefully to get my ass out of here because um, I went longer than I wanted to 2015 will be more productive for everybody and um, everybody will have a great year get a lot built um, I want to try and get a couple things entered in contest and at least pull at one award for myself this year um, that's all I really want um, and that's going to be it everyone have a great and safe New Year's and I swear I'm going to quit smoking. Peace out.